Good morning. Today is Thursday, June 9th, and we are in West Virginia at the Hatfield McCoy Trails. Specifically, we are at the Devil Lance uh, ATV Park here in West Virginia, and it is about 7.45 in the morning, and we're all getting geared up. Let me show you this place. It's a campground in the middle of the trail system. Way over there is where we're camping. I'll take you over there in a second. Just kind of show you that they've got this nice little valley cut out here. And they've built some pretty cool stuff. They've got their home where they live. They've got kind of the check-in gift shop, pro shop type of thing. And they're still doing a lot of work on the, on the sites. Got some camping sites over here where Howie and Mike and then we're, of course, in the cabin on the end there. Last night we got some torrential downpour rains, which has made everything, everything got soaked. So we're kind of, everything's wet. We got fans going, trying to get everything done. We thought we had everything in there, but it downpoured last night like crazy. This morning, although it looks a little bit overcast and some clouds are moving through, they say it's only about a 2% chance, so we're hoping. But what that means is all the trails are completely soaked and wet and muddy, and it's going to be a nightmare. We'll see. Our goal today, we're here for two days. Our goal today is going to be try to get the single, the yellow single track, they call it. It's the yellow on the map is what they say. So we're going to do a lot of the single track on the, not the, not the, what is it called? It's the, the easier side, I guess you would say. And then there's the, the other side. I have to look at the map. I'll show you the map in a minute. Um, we'll do that. And then we're going to try and meet Howie up with his kids at a, at a, lunch spot halfway off the trail somewhere that the, the uh, proprietor here told us all about said it was great so we're gonna go spend about four hours running around doing trying to do the technical stuff wait for howie and the kids to get up and then uh try to meet them for lunch and see how it goes from there then, then at some point and certainly tomorrow for sure we are going to go to trail 199 on the rock house side rock house that was a thing and that's supposed to be the most difficult trail so that's kind of the goal now Will I do it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if how today goes and whether or not it makes any sense for me to even attempt it. So let's just see how today's. I'll do a lot of video of riding around today. Hopefully it's good. Um, that's it. Let me go show you the cabin. All right, so let's check out this cabin. So the truck down here, that's Howie's trailer. We're staying, got some, got some ATV bubbas there. A dual house there and a little bathhouse on the corner. Of course, we have our own bathroom inside the, the, the Look how beautiful setting that is. Isn't that incredible? Now, it looks like a yard sale out here because everything got soaking wet. We're trying to get stuff dry as much as we can. How these kids left a little one wheel out here. All of our gear trying to air it out, dry it off. Got fans in the gloves, boots. Cody's trying to plug in some GPS data and get his premix oil done. So it's a pretty cool cabin. Four beds. All right, perfect. Got a full-size fridge. Got a microwave, sink, cabinets, everything you need. Yesterday when we stayed at the other cabins, didn't have anything. Somebody in there? That was in there, right? Got ourselves a bathroom and a shower, personal, which is better than a bathhouse. So we. And when we were in Georgia, we were staying in that, that rustic cabin where it just had four, didn't even have four beds. Cody had to stay on, a, on an air mattress. And then the bathhouse was kind of gross, but this is really nice, really clean. It even has TV in there, which we watched the 300 last night where we guys are fading off to sleep. It took us about eight hours to get here. We ran off to a Mexican restaurant last night too. Not easy to do, about 16 miles away. You think that's pretty fast? Not here. Windy ass roads all the way around. So really, come prepared to kind of stay because it's difficult to kind of get out in the town but that's all I mean that was after nine hours of driving so I was trying to overblowing that it was probably just being a baby about it I was pretty tired um, yeah so I'm gonna get geared up waiting on Pierpont to get geared up he's slow and then we're gonna head on the trails I'll kind of take take you along with me see how that goes all right see ya all right we're geared up, ready to roll out. Cody's gonna lead the way.
too, apparently. Old timer. Five miles to the trailhead. Yeah. It's up there. Gas is the last gas station. The so this one. is it? We're going to the trailhead. Okay. You want me to cut? You want to get gas? I used a bit. Do it. It's the same, same pump. Well, I'll just use the same pump. Just top everybody off, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking loose. Just put a new rope off, man. Three, three fingers on it. You can move it back. Yeah, I can move it. Yeah, I can move it back. All right. I don't have the axle nut, do you? do? Yeah, that's loose. Fuck. I bought it. Do you got it? You want yeah. to do that? I'll get the gas. Fuck, that's a long ways. 14 yeah. miles on the road. My tire's hot as hell. I'm afraid the moose is going to get burned up and fall off. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's actually more terrifying falling out of people than you see that tire going. Yeah, your tire's like fucking wobbling. I'm like, ooh. I know a lot of it's just the mud, but mud, mud on the tire makes it look like it's wobbling. All right, what do we got, Cody? They said above the left ear. So we're going to go. We're here right now. Okay. Down 15 for a little bit, and then we'll hit 140. And then probably go down 186 or 197. Down to 15 again. And then decide if we're going to do 199 or we're going to go up and over to 171. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. But that's the easy 199. Too. And then once we do 199, <laughs> we can go all the way down here. Yeah, we want to get all the way down to one spot. But yeah, in, in at time. some point in the day. Yeah, we'll, we got... we'll see how long it takes for the first Yeah, trail. see how long it takes. It's going to be interesting. How long is the first trail? Okay, here we go. No competitions of speed, endurance, or climbing ability allowed at any time without a special use permit. Well, that means Cody can't go and climb and shit. Yeah, so for no, no race yeah. or uh, hill climb yeah. events, yeah. all that. I think they're talking about competitions yeah. as in races, yeah. Yeah, racing, yeah. Yeah, they don't want any. I guess it's a. Recreational park in yeah. all the races. Yeah. At all. All right, let's get to moving. Get him off the phone. Back down. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. Let's see how this goes.
not it? No, it is. Okay. A bit. The way to do it. Get off your bike like a little squealer. Oh.
The branches are wet. Yeah. Get me in the eyeballs. Right yep. Okay. All right, good deal. Scared me there for a second. How's the arm? Take a break. <sighs> Sketchy, right? Yeah. Sorry, bro. You got her? Uh. Your bars rolled? Oof, yeah. How you doing over here, man? No front brake. Slowing us up already. I know. You're gonna exchange him with Max, man. If this is <laughs> you you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose your spot. Come <laughs> out, come out. Bring it, Hudson. Back up. Cause Cody made me sick. Changing my bars and now my setting. What level is this? Huh? It's 142. Oh, this is below. This is 140. 140. Oh, this is 140. Okay. This is easy. This is easy. Yeah. This is one, so, this is so you know easy. we're gonna have steeper. On this mountain. Yeah. The steepness is gonna get. The, the rest of it was of course easy. Yeah. This was steep. Yeah. That was the loose rock. <laughs> yeah. The loose rock makes it scary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't want to fall downhill, man. Focus on the rear. So three bikes, man. Get over here, or what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Falling downhill and then the trees on, you know what I mean? Falling into a tree yeah. downhill, I feel like. Uh, That's what he just did. My yeah. neck's in danger. Yeah. Well, he fell with his arms. I'm, yeah. I'm talking about breaking my neck. I don't like it. I don't want to break my neck. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. You agree, right? I concur. You don't want to break your neck either? No. Good for you. Smart. We don't even want you to break your neck. We don't Thank want you. you to break your neck either. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah, sure? then our riding day is over. <laughs> Yeah. There it is. See? Oh, no. It's all about us. <laughs> oh, Somebody no. brought the other No, no, what? <laughs> you do not want to break up. You got no clutch? No clutch. Look, I'm smoking. Fucking shit again. Smoking again? Oh, yeah. What the fuck, man? What's going on with your wires? I don't know, but I'm about to catch on fire. Let's get this thing moved down here. Come on, it's smoking like crazy. Something I is shorting it. out. Damn it. It's shorting out on you. Do I disconnect the batteries and then you're good or what? Yeah. What did we do last time? It's doing the same thing. It's it's shorting. Give me the give me the T handle. Let's get the seat off. This is down here right here. What? It's melting my clutch. Yeah, don't touch it. We gotta get the gas tank off. Yep. See? Disconnect the battery, no? Yeah, just take the battery. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't see shit. That's gonna fucking start a fire. Come on, get that off. Oh, fuck, fuck. Get some shit. Okay, 
It's diagnosed. What the, what the hell is happening, man? He got a short somewhere. He had a bare wire. Let's see that tank well, off. Well, gonna have, have multiple bare wires. It's gonna roll. Are you never even put even on there? <laughs> Are these on? Well, I need a quick release. I'm just gonna get yeah. the bottom yeah. one. Yeah. You have quick release down there? No. Oh. Fucker. All right. Sorry about this guy. No, man. Don't worry. Fucking shit could have been me. Huh? A fuel injection bike without a battery? Yes. Oh, do you need you, battery? You can start it without a battery because it's got a solenoid. So yeah, you can. Ride. It's the stator, no? So that, yeah, after, after you start it, then you should be able to ride. If you can yeah. start it. See, the problem is now you're going to be able to see a bunch of wires because this clutch pipe is so fucking hot. And what caught on fire up here? Uh, Let's take that front plate off. Number five. Uh, you're a little fluid. Am I? Yeah. Fuck, that's it I don't know, is it water or is it clutch fluid? I can't tell. Is it? Is it clutch oil? Taste it. Go ahead, push again. I can't tell. We have to see if you have to take number four off. Careful, a little piece there. Just hit. Just tape it. No, no, no. Maybe. What was that? I wanted the dirt because you know. I know what you yeah. wanted. <laughs> hey, look around here for the seat bolt. It's a long bolt. Uh, I'd have to get my glasses. Uh, yeah. I dropped it to get the dirt, and I'm not sure where it is. Will it start? No, it won't no. start. So we have to put the battery back on. So we tape everything back off, put the battery back on. Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't hook the gas. Oh, my God. Oh, your fuel? Wait a minute. Fuel pipe's not hooked on. But what's fuel squirting out? That's the question. No, it won't squirt. It won't because the fuel pump's not running to you. So they kick it. Do you kick it? Yeah, but when you kick it, it should still squirt out. Chris got a bike back together, got it started. No clutch. Cody rode it out, back up that way. Chris took my bike. Now he's back on the road, heading back to the truck to get it fixed and hopefully meet us up about noon. We should have all the parts we need at the truck. And then we should be heading. Now we gotta go down this trail a little bit. I went down and did a little recon and there was some uh, trees in the way. So this ought to be interesting to see how this goes, to say the least. Get it out. Just get the front wheel off. That's what I did. 